Yes, it's Erin. Happily we go. And if you are here for the Our Favorites Mixed Media YouTube Hop, then you are in the right place. I'm super excited today. Um, I'm going to share with you guys a watercolor speed painting, which I've never done before. We're going to make this fabulous girl, so stay tuned. But before we begin, uh, you can find all of the hop information down in the description box below. Um, it'll tell you where you're supposed to go and how you can win and all that good stuff. But I just wanted to share here is look at all of these amazing sponsors. Look, I'm on there too. And if you win from me, you're going to get this exclusive Beach Please watercolor set that hasn't been released but is coming soon. So thank you for stopping by today. Be sure to, to subscribe to my channel. Um, we're going to have lots of fun, mad loves, and let's get creating. All right, so we're gonna watercolor today. Let's whip out the brushes. Now this is just my travel set, and I know it's a little excessive. You do not need this many brushes, but um, I think we're gonna work with probably just two today. I'm really digging this one. It's a newer one, so it's still kind of stiff, and it comes to a very nice point for easy details, and then maybe a smaller detail brush as well. I like to have two jars of water so I don't get any muddy colors. I rinse in one and then get um, fresh, clean water in the other. And then we are also going to use an Aquarello watercolor. This is hot pressed and it is a block of paper. So as you see, all the sides are kind of glued except for one little corner. So it's easy to pull your paper off when you're done. These are really nice for on the go because then you don't have to tape down or worry about any warpage. I'm also gonna grab some paper towel here so I can um, dry off brushes or dust off if I get too much color. And then we have, of course, the watercolors. So these are all, um, actually, Happily We Go watercolors. These are all mostly my watercolors. I think there's a few extras in there. Um, but I'm really only going to be working with four colors today. So I will tell you what the colors are once we get going. We're just gonna get situated here get everything kind of where I feel like it's comfortable before we get going and then we're going to jump right into it. I'm going to add water all over to the entire face. As you can see I'm not overly watering it but it is giving a really nice sheen to the paper and then I'm going in with two colors here. This is a mix of sandstone and leather boots. I really love this color for um, the skin tone. It's been kind of my go-to. Now I've mixed just a little bit of cardigan red and some more of that sandstone to get a light coloring for the cheeks and also use that for some shadowing as well. I'll put the first layer on the lips um, just to get that going. We're going to do lots and lots of layers here. Then I brought in the blue jeans with a hint of that cardigan red, kind of gives me a very pale purpley color the more you water it down for some of the shadows. I've also made my own gray color with those four colors that I just told you about. So again, we're working with three of the colors from the sweater weather set and then sandstone which is from the fifth element set. But I will be probably listing these all individually into the shop or I might even make a... Um, Aaron's portrait set. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. You let me know in the comments down below what you think I should do. Here is that blue jeans. We're going to brighten it up. I'm going to put the colors in individually. There's some of that uh, cardigan red so you can see that coloring and we're just going to keep on going. bringing in some colored pencils into my watercolor play. Um, disclaimer, these are some crappy like scholar ones. I have ordered some of the polychromos but they haven't come in yet. So anyways, we're gonna rock with these for now um, and this just goes to show you, you don't have to have amazingly expensive supplies to play. So I'm just gonna, I'm very very lightly dusting the color on, I guess could you say dusting? I don't know, I'm, I'm very gently adding to it. I don't want any harsh lines. And then what we're going to do is go back in with watercolor and any spaces that um, kind of aren't filled in, as you can see here, I'm just gonna bring that color in. It's going to brighten it up 
and uh, blend it in. Uh, they are not watercolor pencils, they are just regular colored pencils. dabbed on some placement for maybe some flowers and I'm bringing in that gold. And as this is a favorite video, one of my other favorite things is stamping. I cannot watercolor flowers yet, so a good way to add to your art is to just grab some stamps. I'm putting a, uh, just a blank piece of paper here because I don't want that whole flower to show. And then I'm going to grab a Faber-Castell pit pen and I'm going to draw in the rest of those petals. So there we go. And then dry it of course because it is VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. It is waterproof so it won't smudge but you want to make sure that it's dry before you do that. Now I'm just going in with a little bit of sandstone around the petals to kind of brighten them up and we're just going to continue playing. Now I said we were only going to use two brushes but this actually is a nail art brush. It's super, super fine detailed so I can get these really teeny tiny lines. Um, I know that I have a script brush somewhere, but I really like actually this one for details. It's kind of my favorite. So there we go. Another one of my favorite things is a gold gel pen. There's just nothing better than some accents of some shimmer, some metallic colors, um, or some gold. So I'm going around all of the flowers with the gold gel pen here. And then I'm going to whip out my other favorite, which is the Uniball Signo white gel pen, and just do a couple detail designs here and there as well. I have just a, um, this is I think my Molotov fine liner pen. It's a .05 so it's super super fine detailed and then I also have a sepia colored one too just to do a couple extra details in the eyelashes, the eyebrows, and then in some of the hair. Um, at this point I realized that her eyelid was bugging me and then also her head. Her head is wonky. So I'm going to end up attempting to fix that by adding in a little bit more of the blue and I'm just doing a little bit more shading and stuff here too. So you know sometimes that kind of stuff happens and you just sort of uh, roll with it. up some of the details here I just want to take a moment to say thank you thank you so very much to Alexa over at Bluewood Design for putting this huge YouTube hop together um, don't forget to hop hop along to everybody on the list because there are tons of awesome prizes and tons of inspiration and so yeah you definitely just want to veg out and watch all the videos um, if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a video I am so excited that you are here today and thank you thank you so much for spending my very first speed painting with me. It was kind of scary every time I turned the camera on it freaks me out a little bit but I'm gonna get uh, more used to it more the more and more that I do it. 
So be sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and until next time, happy creating. Thanks so much, guys, and here's a still shot.